Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is by Video Jutsu, and it is called Investor Showdown. May the best investor win. In this game, it's going to play up to two to four players. It takes about, I guess, an hour to play or so, and it's for ages 14 and up. In the game Investor Showdown, you're going to be playing as an investor, and you're going to be getting a certain amount of money to start the game off, and there's going to be a big deck of cards. You're going to be drawing a card from the top of the deck, and determining whether you want to pick it up or not. You've got riskier bonds, you've got safe bonds, you've got small businesses and large businesses, you're going to have cards that are basically like actions that will pop up for everybody to take part in, and then you're going to have large real estate and small real estate, and you're going to be utilizing the money you have to buy them. You're trying to diversify yourself to a certain extent and trying to increase your profit because once you're able to achieve a total profit in one uh, turn for, of $2,000 or more, you will win the game, which is the most important thing in the game is to invest enough to be able to make a profit in one round, not necessarily have the most. And so if anybody can do that, they're going to win the game. As you kind of go along and do this sort of, sort of thing, you're going to suffer problems like maybe your risky stocks are going to decline or fail altogether. Maybe you're going to lose some money and you're going to have to liquidate some of your real estate or your assets. And also maybe you're doing quite well based on the fact that you've decided to buy gold and because of that your diversification has increased your fund, increased your fund and thus given you even more money. So there's all these types of things that you're going to have choice as to what you want to do and when you want to do it. And the simple game is, the gameplay is very simple. Drawing a card, playing it face up, and uh, choosing or choosing to discard it, not utilize it. And you'll also have the ability to gain education, which is going to cost you but may benefit you later as well as the ability to gather strategy cards in here as well that will give you some kind of benefit. Anyway, that's the basic idea for the Investor Showdown. Let's go ahead and show you down below what it looks like and how to play it. So here we have the game Investor Showdown and everything included. Of course, there is the box. You're going to have a bunch of paper money from 100 to 500 to 1,000, and you're going to get a set of cards. You're also going to get two sets of uh, rule book papers, which is going to show you how to play the game, as well as what comes in the game and how they're utilized. It gives you a little more explanation for how to utilize those, but we won't need that because I'm going to explain it to you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing every player is going to get to have a two thousand or three thousand dollars. So I went ahead and set it up for three five hundreds, a thousand, and then five one hundred dollar bills. We're just going to show you one player because I think you'll get the idea of the game by just showing how one player takes their turn. And it'll also move along a little faster. Uh, on your turn, you're going to start with nothing but money, and you're going to draw a card. The first player will draw, and a riskier bond. Okay, so you can choose to buy it at its basic cost or its combo cost. Uh, and it's going to give you a thousand dollars for its basic. It's uh, nine hundred for its combo as long as you're educated. And then interest uh, increase interest income is going to be three hundred dollars. So provided uh, that this deck allows you to uh, cash out gain, or gain income, you're going to get this amount of money along with every other card you have in front of you. And if you have to liquidate this, it's going to give you it's going to cost four hundred dollars. So uh, you can choose to either pick this up or not. And in this case, I guess we'll go ahead and pick up a risky bond. Now risky bond is risky because things can happen but it can also benefit you in great ways. So now we have our risky bond investment. We paid its basic cost. We don't have education yet. The next player is going to get to go by drawing a card and choosing. And now we will get to go again. So it's just now our turn. We're going to play simultaneous turns. Here's a small business. It's going to cost us $1,200. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and pick up this one, I suppose. It's getting more costly. We're not able to buy as much now, but we'll do that. Now we'll have a total of $400 of, of, of profit and interest. Uh, and now, okay, here we got uh, Cash is King. The player with the most cash can buy any one buyable item from the discard pile. And uh, liquidating is not allowed. Ties go to the next turn. If they already own a strategy card, they can buy two. Now, right now, there's nothing in the discard pile, uh, but we've now made one. So, oh, well, he couldn't buy anything. This happens later in the game. They will be able to buy stuff in the discard pile, which is kind of nice. All right, what do we got here? Uh, large real estate. We don't, we don't have $3,000, so this is just going to get done. Too bad. Uh, let's go again. Oh, another small business. Uh, we don't really want that. Another real estate. And as you can see, the game goes by. It goes pretty quickly as determining whether you want something or whether you don't want something. There's education. I guess we'll go ahead and buy that. That's going to uh, net us. It costs us $400, but it's going to net us the uh, benefit of knowledge, which is good. All right, here we go. Another small real estate. Uh, that's actually going to be $1,200 if I had that kind of money, as opposed to... And there's a strategy card for $400. Oof, see what happens when you buy a lot too fast? You're going to be in trouble. You have no money, but it's worth it. I want education and strategy. And it's going to continue. Now, remember when you're playing with multiple players, they're all going to be able to do certain things. And whenever an action happens, uh, you're going to have the, the option to uh, participate. Well, not have the option. You're going you're to have to participate. But you're going to have the uh, advantage or disadvantage of gaining or losing money. 
So there's all, all sorts of things going on here. People are basically increasing their tableau as it goes on. Uh, there's a bo skill bonus, which says, uh, let's see here. This one says, uh, discipline and knowledge are powerful uh, factors in investing. Uh, so this is strategy and uh, education. All players that own an education card and a strategy card get 500 bucks. So that would be me gaining some money. So my investments are paying off. Anybody else as well. As the market goes up, any players can sell their individual uh, so, uh, sell any of their individual risky bonds and risky stock investments uh, for their basic cost, which is going to be up here, uh, along with 400 extra dollars. So selling this is actually going to get net me even more money. I would actually get a thousand dollars back, and I'd get an extra four, four hundred. So I'll just take it from the bank there. So that's a little, little bonus there, which is kind of nice. And bam, there's collect income, which is sad now because we got rid of our stock, but we'll get our hundred dollars, and everybody else is going to collect as well. And then that's going to start allowing us to get more money. Now this is the only way you win the game. This, this thing here is when you pop this up. If you have two thousand dollars of income coming out of your tableau, that's how you win. Instantly $2,000, you win. Uh, if there's a tie, mo multiple players can can win, depending on the certain rules as to whether or not money is going to be a tiebreaker. But in general, if you make $2,100 and he makes $2,000, the game is going to end and you're going to win the game. There's three of these cards in the deck. There's like another Cash is King card, allowing you to buy stuff from here, which is actually useful now, specifically because you can maybe buy uh, this one here for the, your education, being got, making it cheaper. Or you can go ahead and buy your riskier stock back. Um, and that's the basic idea of the game. Now, there's going to be safer bonds. There's some expertise that allows you to collect the income of uh, four things or so. You get a lot of options there. There's gold that you can buy that doesn't give you any income, but gives you more uh, money later on for stuff like diversification, which I'll go ahead and show you if I can find it real quick here. There's one right there. We get $200 for each of the different types of cards you have in front of you. Uh, tax time, which is not so good. All players now have to pay $100 for each investment that they own. Um, let's see, anything else kind of interesting? Now, there's some bad economies that can affect you in certain ways, but you can basically uh, avert the bad economy if you have uh, gold and, uh, of course, more money that you can make. But, yeah, anyway, that's the basic aspect of the game. I think you get the idea of it. Whoever makes those $2,000 eaters when... Uh, when one of these green cards comes up is going to be the winner of the game, whoever's the most. And if you're tied, whoever has the most money. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the game uh, Investor Showdown above now. Okay, so what do I think about the game Investor Showdown? May the best investor win! Uh, of course, it has the website on front. Uh, first of all, uh, the box is nice, high quality, strong, sturdy, good. Uh, I wouldn't put the website on the front of the box. Uh, I'd probably actually maybe the player count and whatnot. You can find it here on the side, which is not so bad. And then the back just has a barcode along with the basic aspects of fast setup and easy rules. That's true. Uh, just as great for adults, realistic and educational. It is definitely educational. I would actually put what is in the box back on the back of the box so people know what they're getting and what it's going to look like. Um, what you're getting in the game is going to be paper money, which is going to be $100, nothing on the back, um, and a set of cards here, which as you can see as, uh, through the tutorial. Paper money is not my thing. I much prefer in chits, and I think chits is an easier way to go about it, especially since they won't tear, they won't rip, they won't have any issues. And uh, also if they're flipped back, I mean, it's not too bad because at least they are different colors, but nevertheless, you're not going to know what they are on the back side. So you have to make sure you're flipping them over. Sometimes that can get a little crazy with a lot of players if the game gets a little nutty. Um, you're going to start with your money and you're buying stuff increasing your tableau or decreasing it if you're unlucky and you get certain pulls from the deck. But luckily, you're never going to ever have nothing because of the way the game functions. You're always going to be gaining. Uh, and there is definitely catch-up catch mechanics in the game. Um, personally, I wasn't sure what to expect of the game. Uh, when I first sat down with it, I'm like, oh, you just draw a card and see what happens. Like maybe exploding kittens kind of a thing. And as I played it, I'm like, oh, it has a nice little tableau builder aspect to it. You're starting to increase the different things in front of you. You're uh, trying to exploit the game by allowing yourself to diversify. Whether or not you want to purchase certain options is going to benefit you based on what has been played in the deck. And of course, a good way to play this game is to remember what has been played and what is available and what is not available. And whether or not you're going to be able to cash out when the deck runs out, you're going to reshuffle it. And uh, then you're going to try and mess with your opponents based on how having uh, yourself buy certain things are going to help you. There's also some cards in here that actually do mess with your opponents that can be pretty nasty. Um, but overall, it's a nice little tableau building game. Now, uh, that being said, uh, it can be kind of slow. You're simply drawing a card, and a lot of the time you're going to be passing, especially at the beginning of the game, because if you do what I did to the tutorial, where you just simply buy the first couple things that come up, you're going to be out of actions to do. You're going to be like, nope, don't want it, nope, don't want it, until eventually it starts building. The engine takes a little bit 
too long, I would say. Uh, personally, it didn't bother me too much because it's really quick, especially once you get the idea of what you want and what you don't want. But for a new player, it can be kind of aggravating. My cameraman, my editor, they're playing with me, and they're like, okay, we're not, we're not really doing as much as we would like to do in the game. Maybe you could lower the costs or something like that or give you more money. I'm not sure how you want to do that, but giving a player more things to do at the beginning of the game would be, would be nice. Um, but overall, like I said, I don't mind it from probably like just after the beginning from to the middle to the end is where it starts getting competitive. The very end where you've got a bunch of stuff on the table and you're like situating things and you're fighting. No, oh, my opponent has uh, 1,600 and I, and I have 1,800. Or now they have 21. I don't want them to end the game right now. So I have to make sure that I, unless I buy this thing or, you know. So you have different ways to try and combat your opponents and uh, out-purchase them, which does happen. And that's kind of fun as well. As well as uh, putting too many uh, eggs in one one hatch or whatever the terminology is where you're buying too many risky stocks and it just comes back to, to melt you in the face and you have to liquidate all your finances so you have to be careful how you want to go about things and gold is not going to give you anything necessarily as far as income goes but it will stabilize you when nasty cards arrive as well as give you money for diversifying your income so that's kind of cool it definitely is educationally do feel like you're like buying stocks and bonds and how you want to like I've learned a little bit about buying certain things from this game, so that's kind of cool. Um, and like I said, the, the fun factor just isn't really there for most people after uh, from the beginning of the game till about the early mid game where it starts picking up. Also, the last thing I want to note is I got the first game up. I had two copies of the game. I opened one. I was going to do a giveaway for the other. I opened one, and when I shuffled the cards twice, it like ripped part of a card, the top of it off. And that was, of course, one of the uh, green cards here that actually lets you collect uh, income. So it was you instantly knew if it was coming up or not, which kind of ruins the deck. Um, but uh, after talking to the creator of the game or somebody who works for them, I went ahead and uh, did determined that I would open the second box and shuffle it just to make sure it wasn't a bad batch because they said that they've checked to see and maybe that was just a bad set. And I did I shuffle this one up and not nearly as bad here. I actually went through it all and uh, it appears to be much better. There are certain little like little skid marks and whatnot. So I imagine it's just that if you're not, you should be not super rough with this one just in case. I uh, just want to throw that out as a clarifier. Anyway, though, Investor Showdown, fun little tableau game. If you don't mind a little slow buildup and you don't mind paper money, you're probably going to be interested in checking this one out. It plays well. It works for two, three, or four players, provided this is the type of game you're interested in. For me, it's, it's right on the level, uh, maybe a little bit off due to the quality of the paper money and the, the fact that the cards were, were sketchy for the first set, and this one is okay. Uh, definitely worth checking out, though. If it sounds like something interesting to you and to learn more about stocks and how to build your investment as an investor, go ahead and check out Investor Showdown down below in the description for the game. Probably try and give away this copy as well. So if you're interested in the website, you can go ahead and try and win it for yourself and see what they got going on in the Facebook pages and whatnot. All right, guys, let's talk about this time. And as always, I look forward to investing with you next time.